Hi there, my name is Tom and I'm a member of the Data School's 27th cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to consistently format across your workbooks and dashboards with a handful of simple tricks. This will enable you to make all your worksheets look the same across a dashboard, which helps to improve the user experience. So let's jump straight into Tableau and get started. Here I have a dashboard that I made as part of a Friday project early in training with DS27. Our challenge was to recreate as many charts as possible in the space of three hours taking inspiration from visual vocabulary resources online, which I'll link in this video's description. I decided to focus on the category or magnitude chart types and created a dashboard that looks like what we're seeing now. However, before any formatting, it looked a little something like this, which as you can see is a bit of a mess. The good news is that there are a couple of tricks you can use to make the formatting process a lot quicker which importantly saves you some time. So let's just say you've started building out your worksheets and you know what fonts and sizes you want to work with. Let's head into our first chart, go to the Format tab at the top here, and select Workbook. Here we can change the fonts and the lines that will carry through in the rest of the charts that you build from this point onwards. However, a lot of the time formatting is the final piece of the puzzle. So we're going to be looking at this problem from a dashboard point of view. So now we're back in our unformatted dashboard and what we're going to do is follow the same process that we've just seen. Go to the format tab at the top and this time select dashboard. Now again we have a similar view from which we can control everything. What we're interested in however is this worksheet titles. What we can see is each of the worksheet titles is a little bit too big. So what I'm going to do is drop the size down to 12 and make them bold. Great. So now we're going to be looking at giving this dashboard a bit of breathing space. So for each of these worksheets, I'm going to change the outer padding to 20. Let's start with this first bar chart. Close the formatting pane, now we're in our layout pane, and come down to outer padding and make this 20. Once you've done this across the dashboard, you'll have something that looks a little bit like this. My final trick, and one I wish I'd found out about sooner, relates to the faint grid lines we can see on each of the charts. So to change this, let's move back into our first sheet right click anywhere on this chart area and select format and move into the line section. Now for the purposes of this demonstration I don't want any lines on my charts so I'm going to turn everything off here. Turn that off. Turn everything off. Now here's the good bit. What I'm going to do is right click on my formatted sheet and select copy formatting. And next we're going to paste that formatting onto each of our remaining sheets. Next we can return to the dashboard and what we can see is that we have no more grid lines on our view. The only thing we need to do now is go to the formatting of each of these worksheets that now have these dividers on, go to our borders and turn off these dividers and repeat that for each of these. So what we've got now is this dashboard that looks a lot cleaner for which we've used a couple of simple tricks just to consistently format across the dashboard. 
The view now doesn't have titles that are too big. The grid lines have been removed and we've also given the view a little bit more breathing space. So we've added white space to each of the charts by adding that little bit of outer padding to each of the worksheets. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident in consistently formatting your worksheets in Tableau. Please check the description of this video for links to additional materials that you might find useful. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'd absolutely love the related how-to videos we've suggested by my fellow data schoolers. Click on the thumbnail on the bottom right to watch it next, and please do subscribe to this channel to get notified when we release new videos.